Hey, hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. So, it's been a little bit, um, <clears throat> I've kind of been quiet, I haven't been feeling very well. Uh, my medicine ran out and I've been kind of playing tag with my doctor and all, but anyway, that's, we got that taken care of today, so hopefully I'll be back to normal in a few days, so I hope you understand. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around this spell. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of future videos. Thumbs up, likes are always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. With that, I have a uh, small tonic haul to share with you guys. Came in today. I think there might be another one, if not tomorrow, then on Friday. And I had a Dollar Tree haul, but... Um, I had mainly gone to pick up items for work, and I just went ahead and took them into work. So, um, if you're interested, there are some great school items, guys, right now at the Dollar Tree. Um, including, like, nice zebra pens, pilot, so, like, name brand, um, school supplies. So, go check that out if you're looking for school supplies for your kiddos, or for your desk, or for you. Um, yeah, I got some really cute stuff. But again, like I said, I took it to work to fill up my brand new work desk. Anywho, let's get to why you're here. And that is tonic. Um, basically, this is paper. But I do have a fun new die that finally arrived. So I'll share that last. Uh, we're going to... So this order um, with my discount and shipping um, total for everything was $54.16. Um, if some of y'all are new, if you're a Tonic Studios Craft Kit subscriber, you get 10% off all purchases from Tonic. Um, you just have to put in the discount code, which is TCK, which stands for Tonic Craft Kit, and boom, there you go. I use it all the time. <clears throat> anyway, uh, first off, we're going to go with the Mirror Card in Hollow Waves. Remember, I shared this a couple videos ago, and I was, like, kicking myself for not getting any more while well, I had reordered it. Um, I've also put in another order, and I've got some more of this coming because I'm just in love with this. So, um, yeah, so I had to grab more of that. If you're interested in it, the retail is $2.99. You only, in the specialty papers from Tonic, you only get five sheets. Um, this is a 92 pound weight, so it's a little heavier than your regular cardstock. It is single sided, but I mean, y'all, if you're into cutting out like word dies or sentiment dies, this is one way to add a lot of pop to your projects or your cards. Um, what I like to do is I will, I'll either cut the word or sentiment out in like foam or I'll cut it out like multiple layers. I usually do either black or white cardstock and then I just like glue them together. And then I'll cut one of these out, put it on top. So it, cause as I've told you guys, I like dimension. So uh, that's what I got the mirror, the, all the mirror cards that you guys have seen me picking up is because I want to add popped sentiments. That's what this is for. You know, I may come up with something else. I'm not a, well, you'd think I'd be a big blingy person, but I'm not. But I, I like I like one item on a project to, like, grab your attention. And so that's what this is. So I, I rarely use these in, like, large quantities on anything. So there you go. Mirror cardstock, hollow waves, just holographic goodness. Next, I got a bundle, and it's called the Card and Paper Bundle Pastel Shades. Um, all the cardstock I'm about to show you, I pay, it was $10.97, and then again, I got my discount, so I got $1.09 off, so, uh, what, $9.88? Yeah, I think $88. Yeah, $88. <laughs> yeah, my math has been off lately, I don't know why. Anywho, so let's see what came in this bundle for just under $9. Is that right? Just under $10. So, I got us some regular cardstock. There's some specialty paper. I'm gonna try 
try and do it. Yeah, going to do it this way. All right. So we got one pack of the pearlescent cardstock in gleaming lilac. If you are not familiar, this is basically like an iridescent. It's got a, shy, a, a slight shimmer uh, to the cardstock. All their pearlescent cardstock is double sided, so that's awesome. Um, what I like about the pearlescent cardstock, so if you use like sometimes when I'm doing a card, my card base, I'll take a, a, um, I want to say face plate, but that's not the right word. The dies that will cut out almost the entire front and it'll get, it could be like intricate dies. Oh, I, I can't for the life of me think of what it's called. Um, anywho, well then you're seeing inside the card. So why would you do that? Sometimes I like to put a colored cardstock behind it um, to give, you know, just a little pe a peek. My medicine is finally kicking in and so I'm like tripping over myself. Um, but I like the pearlescent cardstock because you still get some pretty pink, you know, the pretty color on the inside of your card as well as peeking through the front. So that's what I like it for. You know, you can also use this to cut out your sentiments or whatever, or however it is you want to use it, but that's what I like it for. So there's that. Again, all specialty is five sheets. Then you got the mirror cardstock in Silky Sky. And this is a kind of like a matte finish mirror. Really pretty. Their mirror card is one sided only. And then also the smooth mint. We saw this in um, one of my other hauls. Then we have Tropical Tide. Again, this was in another haul. Um, I don't know. This is not one of my favorites. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that. Because I don't need any more. It just came in this bundle. And I always buy the bundles to build up my cardstock stash. We have Apricot Orange. This is also in another bundle. And this is, a, this is one I like. So... There's that one. And then we have um, classic cardstock in mauve purple. Again, a lot of y'all who are repeat, you, you know uh, how much I love textured cardstock. If you're new to my channel, I'm a textured, a textured cardstock junkie. And I love, and, and to me it's hard to find. I know you can get it at like Hobby Lobby, but I don't want to wait for a sale to go buy the cardstock there when I can get quality cardstock from Tonic. Um, close to my heart used to sell textured cardstock and they quit, ah, uh, gosh, what, I think like seven years ago and I was heartbroken when they did it. It was just like, it was awful. So, um, cause then I used to, after that I would get Basil, but Basil can get expensive, but um, now I only buy the tonic textured cardstock because I'm in love and they got all the colors I need. And in the, the classic textured cardstock, you get the 10 sheets versus the five sheets. Of course, if you're reading it, you can already see that, but just saying we have the cornflower blue, which is a nice soft blue. And as I mentioned before, I love this buttermilk yellow. Yes, it's a yellow, but it's not like, like the Goo Gone. That's an in-your-face yellow. And this color can give me a headache if it's like in a big sheet. So I love this one. So all of that, all of this, hold on, all of this for um, just under 10 bucks. And I think that's a, that's a pretty good deal if, you know, for cardstock. Just saying. Because... Um, because I think like if you buy cardstock from like Stampin' Up, I think it comes in either 20 or 25 count, but I think you're paying seven, is it seven to ten dollars? I don't really pay attention, um, because I don't really buy it. I, I like their cardstock too, but it's not, it's, it's a smooth cardstock. It's not a textured, so I rarely get that. But anywho, so that is the cardstock in this order. Only one other item, and that's the die I was telling y'all about. 
This is a new die. They released it last month. Um, I ordered this on the 20th of June. And it just arrived today. So almost a month later. This is ridiculous. But this is called the Memory Book Satchel Bag Die Set. And I'm hoping... It, I'm hoping, my fingers crossed, that Tonic does what they tend to do with some of their other dies is like they'll release like a main die and then they'll release like additional I guess you want to call them like add-on dies so like you can change let me just show you so my price was $38.49 I think it was that was 20% off um the introductory price I think was like 20% off and um then on that, I got an additional 10%. So I got another $3.84. So I paid $34 and some change, which is kind of pricey. But I thought this would make great little gifts for like grandparents or um, however it wants to be used. But this is it. It looks like your backpack but you open it up and it's a little memory album. And I like that it, you know, you can look, they've got little pull tabs so you can pull out in this sample, they're showing like pictures on the front, but you can add uh, pictures on the inside or your, um, sent not your sentiment, your, your journaling cards can go in there. Uh, you can take some of their other dies you know, like an add-on. And look, there's even a pocket up here on the front. There are 26 dies in this set. And the finished size of the bag is 4.5 by 4.7 by 2.1. So it looks like it is 4 point... No. It's 2.1 inches deep it is 4.7 inches looks like wide and four and a half inches tall and I have a feeling that this might be a wide format die um, I'm gonna have to pull it out I'm not gonna do it right now and what I mean by wide format is you might need something bigger than your standard Big Shot. Uh, you might need something that's like a Big Shot Plus or the Spellbinders Platinum. And so not the Platinum 6. You want the Platinum because it's got a bigger base, which will let the die go through. Tonic puts out a lot of dies like that that might require a wide format. So it's always important to pay attention to that I oh the largest die is six inches wide by 9.8 inches long so I'm gonna say that you probably need a wide format because I believe the big shot I can't get to mine right now I believe those are only six inches wide period so your platform is not going to be big enough and the space isn't going to be big enough to run it through if that makes sense but I'll try and look into that this weekend and and figure that out for you and I'll update the description anywho what I was meaning about the like you know fingers crossed additional sets is hopefully they'll put out additional sets where like this one has I don't know if you can see it there's flowers there and then like this one is like diamonds. Let me see. Yeah, so it's like you have a diamond pattern here and then you have a flower pattern there. So hopefully they'll do like they do with their memory albums and they'll come up come out with add-ons to change the the decoration for the albums. That's my hope. We'll see if that actually happens. But um yeah. So that's it, y'all. That is my Tonic Studios haul for today. Um, like I said, I think I have six more orders out there. 
don't forget oh today is wednesday die sale so go check it out um omg you guys two of the pinup girls are on this on the special so if you're on the hunt for those pinup girls they're there just saying and just saying i ordered some so like for a future giveaway so just putting that out there too just saying with that i'm gonna let y'all go because it is past my bedtime my medicine's kicking in i gotta get this uploaded and um out to you all so y'all can have it tonight um love you guys to pieces if you're new to my channel welcome i hope you enjoy it if you're not new to my channel y'all know i love you and i'm so thankful that you're here with that, y'all have a great night. As always, happy crafting. Bye-bye.